Yeah, our absolute passion for the primates, especially mountain gorillas. I believe animals have emotions, especially when it comes to the primates. Sitting there with them in such close proximity, you know, with a big silverback, or even the youngsters, mothers with the infants. And when you look into their eyes, I mean, you can see it's there. There's someone home. Pretty much from there, where I started looking for something more different, a certain pose, a certain look, a certain behavior. And try and get more emotion out of the animals in the photographs that I take. To me, wildlife photography, you know, especially moving through the bush, it's all about being observant. There's so much to photograph if you just move slowly and you keep an eye open on what it is around you. I pride myself in understanding animal behavior and when we do the safaris, it's important to me that we respect the comfort zones. I mean, that's why we're there. We want to photograph animals in their natural behavior doing what is natural to them. My 18 years spent in the bush, um, working very closely, you know, with wildlife, getting to understand animal behavior very, very well. Also combining that with my years of experience photographing wildlife, understanding lighting conditions and that very well. I think putting all of that together adds for a really, really great safari experience. I prefer to also take clients to places that I've personally been myself. That is very important to me. Rwanda, I lived there for about three and a half years and to date I've done 45 gorilla tracks which puts me in a position to really, really give clients more in-depth knowledge, not just on the country itself or the specific gorilla families, but often on the individual gorillas themselves. If I can only relate to people how I feel when I'm in Rwanda, not just the experience around the gorillas, but the people. The difficulty is not going to be you know, convincing people to go on a safari with me to Rwanda. It's going to be the end of that safari when I try and get them to leave the country. It's going to be the difficult part.